support and resistance. So in this video, I'm going to share a few, um, one of the most important aspects of trading, and uh, that is how to identify support and resistance properly, especially if you are a beginner. Now, if you are new to our channel, uh, this is a channel where we share tips about uh, how to improve your trading. Okay, we share your strategy as well. So now, without further ado, let's get into today's video. Okay. So right now, what we are looking over here at uh, Euro Dollar. Okay. So we are going to use Euro Dollar to uh, explain uh, the concept of support and resistance and uh, some tips on how uh, you can identify the support and resistance level easily. Okay. Now, when we first started, um, okay. Uh, I think this is something that I really struggled with, uh, learning how to find the good levels to trade off, right? Because uh, you, you want to be buying at support and selling at resistance, right? Uh, that's how you actually make money in trading. Okay, so uh, when it first started, it was very difficult because um, tra trading, you know, like uh, support and resistance is kind of more like uh, both an art and a science. And uh, I was too, you know, uh, fixated in trying to find the exact method uh, to analyze the support and resistance level. Okay, so uh, before I start, I'd like to tell you that uh, identifying support and resistance level is kind of an art and a science. Okay, so um, there's no one fixed way to do it. But of course, uh, I will give you some tips across uh, my 70 years of trading and uh, how I managed to find good levels and also um, what I learned across uh, my trading journey. Okay, so uh, now we, let's get into this Euro dollar chart. You can see over here that uh, this Euro dollar, okay, uh, the first thing you want to know about um, trading uh, or rather support and resistance is that uh, they are most of the time interchangeable. Okay, so uh, what do I mean by the word interchangeable? Okay, let's uh, start uh, over here. Okay, so you can see over here that um, price actually is support. Okay, and uh, what happens when it's broken? Okay, if you see that the uh, candle here breaks uh, this, right, you can see that it breaks a uh, support. Uh, it retested uh, it and comes back almost to the same level. Okay. Now, here's the first tip uh, when it comes to identifying a support and resistance level, okay? Uh, a support and resistance level is never a single line, okay? So uh, don't just, you know, uh, draw it like this and expect price to go exactly to this line, okay? A support and resistance is a zone, okay? So that's the first tip that I want to give you. It is a zone. So rather than seeing as level, just, uh, you know, just kind of know that, okay, um, kind of uh, you expect resistance to be around here, okay? Notice I used the word around here. I didn't say precisely here, okay? So now let's uh, carry on looking at the charts, okay? Uh, so if over here you see there's another support here, okay? And when it was broken, it's uh, retested again, okay? So same thing, okay? Uh, it's about this level, okay? So tip number two that I have for you would be uh, to use the line chart, okay? If you really want to pinpoint a particular level, okay, to look at, uh, I would recommend uh, changing to the line chart, okay? So uh, depending on which uh, trading platform you use, okay, uh, I'm using TradingView right here, but uh, if you just change to a line chart, you'll see, you know, uh, a chart like this, okay? So just uh, put a horizontal line at the, uh, in this case, will be the belly, Okay, and if you switch it back up to uh, the uh, candlestick chart, okay, uh, you see that price actually uh, spike, right? It has a long tail, kind of like a doji candle uh, into uh, the resistance, okay? So that's another tip I have for you, uh, using the uh, line chart to uh, pinpoint uh, this so-called pinpoint the exact support and resistance level but at the same time, understanding that uh, support and resistance level is more of a zone rather than a uh, fixed, uh, fixed level, okay? So if you can see over here, let me just show you one last example over here, okay? Uh, you have support here, uh, it was broken and it came to retest, okay? Uh, if you want the so-called exact level, change the line chart, okay? And uh, just draw it over here, okay? So you can see uh, something like this. Okay, so uh, this is the basics of a uh, support and resistance. Okay, another question that I uh, often get would be uh, the time frame. Okay, so uh, you can see over here that uh, we're looking at the H4 time frame. 
uh, H4 time frame means that every single candle is a H4, means uh, it represents four hours of trading. Okay, uh, if you look at a daily candle, then uh, it represents uh, the entire day's uh, movement. Okay, so uh, if you are a beginner, okay, and chances you are, you are if you are watching this video, uh, then my recommendation to you would be to start off with uh, H4 uh, charts. Okay, meaning that you want to identify turning points uh, using the H4. Okay, so how do you identify the exact, uh, you know, support and resistance level? You just look at turning points. Okay, so you can see over here, there's one turning point here. There's one turning point here, you know, so there's one turning point here. Okay, so in this case, uh, you can draw it over here, right? You see that there's a candle. Okay, so notice that, uh, it kind of takes experience. Uh, there is no fixed rule, right? I mean, I would love to give you an exact method of uh, how to do it, you know, like um, uh, exactly, you know, like a uh, yeah, foolproof way. But uh, as I said, uh, it, trading support and resistance level is kind, it's really an art and a science. So it's impossible, okay? But uh, I give you one more tip, okay? Uh, when it comes to identifying support and resistance level like this, uh, you want to always look at uh, the more recent data, okay? I mean, just uh, just think about it, okay? Uh, this high over here is definitely more significant than this over here, okay? Why? Because this data here, it's more recent. And when the data is more recent, it's actually more relevant. That also means that um, more traders are taking a look at uh, this particular high. So if you notice over here, uh, there's a high here, but you notice that there's also a candle low over here. Okay, so kind of, uh, you know, there's also a low here. So kind of the zone, I will draw it like this. Okay, but I will pay more attention to this over here. Okay, rationale is because it's recent. Okay, so this is uh, a tip that not a lot of people share, you know, in, in all these YouTube videos as well as causes. Uh, they just show you the gist of uh, identifying support and resistance level. Uh, but they don't tell you that, uh, you know, recent data is very important. So you can see over here, it's the same thing as well, right? Recent data. So you have a high here, it broke out, it retested. Uh, it was a support here, it, it broke out, it retested. Okay, let me just uh, draw this for you over here. Okay, so you can see it's, it's very nice, okay? Uh, it's in this kind of situation where uh, you want to be very aggressive because the market is very easy to trade. Okay, uh, when you know the support and resistance lines are holding very nicely, okay, uh, sometimes you have situations where uh, the support and resistance lines don't hold very nicely. Okay, price likes to uh, do what is known as a fake out. Okay, uh, if you are new again, I uh, don't want to confuse you, but I think uh, for this lesson, right, uh, I think you, you want to get familiarized with identifying peaks and valleys. Okay, so a, a peak is, um, let me just draw it for you. Okay, a peak would be uh, this, okay. It's kind of like an inverted uh, V and a valley would be just a V-shape, okay. So the other tip I have for you is also uh, if you have problem identifying uh, what is known as swing lows and swing highs, okay, uh, what you can do is uh, you can switch the line chart again. Okay, let me just clear everything for you. Okay, so you can see that this is a swing high, okay. So you can just use this to uh, identify easily, okay? Uh, it's more concrete, okay? It's a more uh, foolproof way because you can, uh, you can see it very clearly, right? So it's also very helpful to uh, more than just identifying the turning points, uh, learn how to read a trend, okay? Uh, if you do not know how to identify a trend, uh, I won't cover it in this video because this video we're talking about support and resistance level. But uh, I think I covered this in uh, some of my previous videos. So if you are new to this channel, uh, make sure you subscribe, okay? Uh, I also leave the link to uh, my uh, how to day trade for a living guide uh, in the uh, description below, okay? It's a totally free guide, okay? I give you, uh, I teach you how to trade. I talk about a candlestick patterns, a candlestick cheat sheet, and I give a, even give you a day trading strategy that works, okay? All this is all available for you for free uh, in the uh, description below. So just check that out, okay? So uh, I think that's it for today. I covered most of the things I want to cover 
Okay, uh, if you have any questions about this, okay, uh, please comment down in the comment section below. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Uh, let me know uh, some of the issues you are facing so that uh, I can come up with more content like this that is uh, beneficial to you. Okay, uh, I'll see you in the next video.